Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with the exercise 9.2 of the chapter direct and inverse variation. This exercise is based on the questions of inverse variation. Now let's see question number 3. Here in question number 3 we have under the condition that the temperature remains constant the volume of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. If the volume of the gas is 630 cubic centimeter at a pressure of 360 mm of mercury then what will be the pressure of the gas if its volume is 720 cubic centimeter at the same temperature. Now here in this question we are having volume and pressure at the constant temperature. It has been given that the volume and pressure are inversely proportional to each other when the temperature is constant. Here we have 630 centimeter cube of volume at the pressure of 360 mm of Hg. Now we have to find the pressure when the volume is 720 cubic centimeter. So here this will be inverse variation. So first of all put the arrow in this direction because this one is greater. Then this will be in the opposite direction to this one. Now this can be written as 720 upon 630. We are putting the numerator which is pointed towards the head of the arrow. And here this will be equal to 360 upon x. Now we are going to solve for x and for that we are going to do the cross multiplication and this will be equal to 720 into x equals to 360 into 630. Now we can put 720 on the other side so this will be 360 into 630 upon 720. The 0 0 cancel out 36 2 times and this will become 315. So x equals to 315 mm of Hg. Now let's go with question number 4. Here in this question a pack of sweets was distributed among 20 children and each of them received 4 sweets. How many sweets will each child get if the number of children is reduced by 4? Now in this question we have children and sweets. When there were 20 children each child was getting 4 sweets. Now if the 4 child are reduced that is it becomes 16 children. In that case how many sweets each child will get that we have to calculate. Now we know very well that if you are going to increase the number of children the share of the children will be reduced. So it is inverse variation. So here we are going to put the arrow in this direction and then it will be put in this one. Now we are going to make the equation of it and this will become 20 upon 16 equals to x upon 4. Now on doing cross multiplication we get x equals to 20 upon 16 into 4. So 4, 4 times and 4 this one by 5 times. So x equals to 5. So each child will get 5 sweets as answer. Now let's go with question number 5. Here the puja has enough money to buy 36 oranges at the rate of rupees 4.50 per orange. How many oranges she can buy if the price of each orange is increased by 90 paise? Now in this question we are having oranges and the rate of orange. Now Pooja is having enough money to buy 36 oranges at the rate of 4.50 but later on the price is increasing and it increased by 90 paise and it became rupees 5.40. Now we have to find the number of oranges the puja can buy by the limited amount of the money we see have. Now as we know when we have a limited amount of money and we are increasing the rate of the object in that case the number of objects we are purchasing will be reduced. So it is a case of inverse variation. Here this will be in downward direction as 5.4 is greater than 4.50 and this will be in upward direction. Now let's put this one in equation and this will be 36 upon x equals to 5.40 upon 4.50. After that we can do the cross multiplication and this will be x into 5.40 equals to 36 into 4.50. Now put this in the denominator and this will be x equals to 36 into 4.50 upon 5.40. Now on solving this, this will be giving you x equals to 30 as answer. Now let's do question number 6. Here in this question we have, it takes 8 days for 12 men to construct a wall. How many men should be put on a walk 
if it is required to be constructed in six days. Here in this question, we have men and days. If we employ 12 men, the work is completed in eight days. And if we want to complete the work in six days, how many men are required? As we know, the work is fixed and that particular work is to be done by the various number of men. If you are going to employ more men, the time taken by them will be less. And if you are going to employ less men, then the time taken will be greater. So it is a case of inverse variation. Now we are going to put the arrow in this direction as 8 is greater than 6, then this will be in downward direction. Now put the equation for it and this will be equals to x upon 12 equals to 8 upon 6. Now do the cross multiplication and this will be x equals to 8 upon 6 into 12. Now 6 2 times so x equals to 16. So it needs 16 men to complete the work in 6 days. Now let's see question number 7. Here in this question we have 8 taps through which water flows at the same rate can fill a tank in 27 minutes. If two taps gone out of order, how long will it take the remaining taps to fill the tank? Now here in this question, we have taps and time, which is in minutes. Now when we are using eight taps, in that case, it is taking 27 minutes to fill the tank. Now the two taps are out of order. So we are left with only six taps and we have to find the time taken by them to fill the tank. Now we know when we are going to put the larger number of taps, it will be taking lesser number of time to fill the tank. And if you're going to put the lesser number of taps, then it is going to take more time to fill the tank. So it is a case of inverse variation. Now we're going to put the arrow in this direction as eight is greater than six. And then this will be in opposite direction to this one. Now we can put this in an equation and this will be eight upon six equals to X upon 27. Now I'm doing the cross multiplication. This will become X equals to eight upon six into 27. So three twos are and three nines are. Then two, four times. So X equals to 36 minutes as answer. That's all for this video. Thank you.